win for our uh, seniors, and uh, you know it's a hard-fought game. I uh, couldn't say enough about the resiliency and efforts, uh, but particularly, particularly proud of uh, you know our seniors. Uh, OC brought this lay all the way. He must have had a good feeling about the win, uh, but we're excited. Uh, I know. Okay, what kind of message is sent for? next year and all the other different uh, items that come up. But I can tell you this, we're going to enjoy this win right now. Uh, it was a good win, um, and it was at home, so we we're excited about that. So questions? What did it say, too? You know, you had the drive right near halftime. Mm -hmm. That was big. And then, obviously, the game winner at the end, when in, in a tight game with, you know, the way this season's gone, to see your guys kind of mm -hmm. rise up and, and make plays to make those happen. How big was that? To see? Well, it was huge because we've shot ourselves in the foot many times during the course of the year, and you're going to have that with a young football team. But they're starting to mature. Uh, Cam did a nice job operating those uh, those drives. Obviously, Brian and the offensive line did a super job, and we had some great plays with Hollister. But I, I think it shows resolve also. You know, um, UNLV coming into the game had a pretty prolific offense. I thought, uh, you know, the quarterback got Decker got nicked up a little bit, but I thought our defense did a good job uh, getting off the field more so than they have been. What about the resiliency to bounce back? You're down mm -hmm. seven nothing, and it seemed like you know right. it could be one of those uh oh here we go again type of situation. Well, there certainly was feelings like that. Uh, you know, you say deja vu and different terms like that, but. Um, didn't turn out that way. And I think the guys just had an attitude that uh, they were not going to be denied. Uh, you know, I, you can't undersell the fact on how much uh, these seniors mean to our players. Um, they've been great role models and great uh, leaders. And I know that there's not a man in that locker room wanting to make sure they want to send those seniors out on a winning note. I mean, it's almost every week you talk about Brian and, you know, mm -hmm. breaks the rushing record, you know, 200 yards again. And you know, down there late, you know, it's fourth and good because you wanted, just didn't want to take the chance of a field goal being blocked, and, and you gave it to him, and, and he got the first down. But just another, just another big game for him. It was a huge game for him, and their offensive line did a nice job. But many of those yards, he, I mean, he broke three or four tackles, and uh, he's an excellent running back. Uh, the thoughts on the uh, decision to uh, go for it on fourth down. There's a, there's many reasons why we did that. Um, you know, you, you got to look at the field position. Um, they, they had no timeouts, but the overriding factor was the fact, hey, it's fourth down and one. We're going to send a statement that this football team is going to put their hand in the dirt and go north. And uh, so there was, a, there was a real sense of confidence that we're going to get this thing. And uh, that's what we did. Coach, I know the, the win probably means 10 times more than Brian's rushing record, but is it special to, to see him do something historic like that? And mm -hmm. um, there's a mark of not just a great game, but a great season. Well, um, you know, he's a champion. He works really hard, and he's very competitive. Uh, everything that he does all through the feedback we got that uh, how he was this summer, um, how he's been all season, he's been a team player. And I think today was just another example of his ability. Certainly for him to get the rushing record uh, on our final game is special. But if you ask Brian, he's more interested in team wins and individual records. And that's how our team is, but it's great to see him get that done. Speaking of which, uh, his touchdown run, I mean, broke mm -hmm. three tackles, kind of came at you a little bit on the sideline. What did you see on his big 72-yarder where he set the record? Well, a combination of a lot of things. Uh, first of all, power, a vision, explosiveness, and speed. That's a tough combination to stop. And uh, I think the future looks really bright for him. I guess not too. I know Priester started the game. But, mm -hmm. uh, did he get hurt? Did you take him? Because I saw CJ in there a lot, and it right. looked like that worked. That combination of mm -hmm. him and Tony worked pretty well today. Well, we uh, we looked at uh, CJ has been having good practices, and some of the things that uh, UNLV was doing, we felt like CJ might be a better matchup, and so that's why we made the switch. Special to get a guy like Justin Berger a touchdown, mm -hmm. especially on that reverse there. Well, there's a couple things that made it special. Um, not only uh, Justin scoring the touchdown, but Cam doing the lead blocking. So you got two seniors there. Uh, cruising and it was kind of a creative play. Any other questions? What, what's next? Obviously, you, you mm -hmm. go recruiting. You know, yeah. you, you look back on this year a lot, Craig, and see what you, you know, what you did, what you didn't, you know, what you learned. Do you look back a lot on this and, and, and what is like said, what is next for? Well, for this? Uh, we will be going recruiting. All of us will leave tomorrow, uh, but there's going to be a lot that we'll uh, learn from this. We already have, um, and we've got a really young football team, and next year they won't be as young. And that game experience is going to prove uh, really special. 
Um, I also think our football team learned how to continue to fight and compete, and not give up and quit. And uh, I also think we found out uh, what players uh, we feel like can make big plays. And so we'll make sure we highlight those guys in the future. Last time uh, the Wyoming won a season finale in 2010, next year went to a bowl game. I know it's not a guaranteed <laughs> springboard, but I know you're not going to put that pressure in. But is it? does it mean, that, how much of a spark is it to maybe go into the offseason? Well, you know, it certainly helps. You, know, you walk in, but uh, like I said, the biggest thing we're going to do right now is I think about Eddie and OC and Cam and all those other guys, and you know, maybe sometime tomorrow while I'm flying around someplace, I'll think about that and give you a call. <laughs> okay? Thank you very much.